Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Prism Football No Huddle Edition. Five box, pick your team number nine from uh, from a fresh case right here. We're going to pop that open. We're going to see which five boxes we're going to do. Big thanks to all of these lovely people here for getting into the action. Most of these people remember that this city was built on rock and roll. There you go. Thanks everyone for getting in. All right, now let's pop this baby open here. No huddle, right? Okay. Make sure I ripped open the correct case. Oh, God, this is going to be a mess. Oh, it's all this all over the place. That's terrible. All right, let's make stacks of five right here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, there we go. Now, this will be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If I roll a five or a six, I'll just roll again. And it's one, so it's that first column all the way over here. So these we will save for next time. These are the five boxes we're gonna to do tonight. Tanner, what what is what is your oh are you Tommy John? If so, you won the Ravens. I think that that uh, that team giveaway video is still uploading. All right, here we go. So no huddle, kind of like prism basketball fast break or prism baseball quick pitch. Makes sense, right? No huddle. So we're looking for one exclusive autograph. We're looking for those, uh, I think those disco parallels are exclusive to these, uh, to these no huddle sets. So a different parallel to chase. We've got a few more of these breaks, as you can see, a few more of these breaks in the store. So if you want to pick your teams, be sure to check that out. I still think there is a 10% off code going on right now um, in any of these no huddle pick your team breaks. And the discount applies at checkout. I don't know when it's going to end. It might have ended already, but it's, it's worth taking a look, I think. Obviously, you can pre-order the hobby version of this. That drops tomorrow. You can pre-order tonight. Jason Jaspi going live super early tomorrow at around 9 o'clock Pacific. And he's already got a two-box break sold out and a full case break not too far behind after that, which will be about 40, 45-minute breaks each. Yep, yeah, I'll be live tomorrow. Normal, normal time for me tomorrow. So it's Breakfast with Jason Jaspi uh, right here on this channel for Prism Hobby. And then I'll do the daytime and primetime uh, time slots. And then Sean Jaspi will actually be around to do late night. So we might have we might have like almost 20 hours of breaking tomorrow. Which is why I think we're going to wrap things up a little bit earlier. Both on here and on the Instagram too. I think we're wrapping things up a little bit on the earlier side. All right, so there's a nice emergent rookie. I guess this is an insert, but still a parallel. There's Dion Jones to 35. And our first autograph is going to be Noah Igbinogeni. Dolphins. That goes to Ryan Harold. There's Isaac Bruce to 79. 
And I guess, I guess this week Antonio Gibson has a big boost in value right after his Thanksgiving Day performance. Justin Jefferson's pretty good. David Nyoku to 15. Nice low number there. David Nyoku for the Browns. That's going to be for John Alfies. Now, Prism, folks, is at, especially in recent years, has just kind of another layer of value on the secondary market. So all of these rookie cards, and obviously all the rookies ship, I think, I think all cards ship, actually. Yes, all cards ship. Yeah, so it, it'd be worth, even some of the random rookies, it'd be worth looking up some of these players because you might be surprised at some of their values. There's Darren Fells. Does Darren Fells get more work now that Will Fuller apparently out for the rest of the season? PED suspension. There's poor Ben DiNucci right here. Jason and I were just talking about him. This goes to the Cowboys, Mark. You just kind of throw them into the fire, not even being prepared. And then they're like, eh, we're never going to use you again. There's T. Higgins, rookie, parallel. Yeah, Tony's saying, yeah, exactly. Tony's saying a regular base Jordan Love going for like 60 bucks, which is kind of crazy. There's Chris Jones to 50. So, I mean, any pretty much any base rookie with... You know, with a decent name behind him. <laughs> you know, I mean, K as long as you recognize the names, KJ Hamler, LaMichael Pirine, I mean. It's pretty crazy. This does not seem too common right there. Khalil Mack. That Keenan Allen for the Chargers. Khalil Mack, first of all, goes to Corey and the Bears. Keenan Allen charges. This looks like some sort of short print, maybe? Look at that. A nice uh, no-huddle parallel. Patrick Mahomes for Walter and the Chiefs. I'm sure this goes for a lot, too. I mean, especially for a non-rookie card. Probably more than you think. Oh, and is this our... I don't feel like we haven't seen a lot of Thaddeus Moss. There it is. There you go. And that's Randy's kid. All right. Next box. All right, folks, and coming up after this, I think we're, we're kind of booked for the night, but coming up after this will be the number block randomizer for National Treasures Baseball. Then we'll do that National Treasures full case break. I think that'll pretty much bring us to the end of the night. Unless we fill up something, something really short, kind of quick, maybe we can do one of the fillers for the basketball mixer, that which is officially sold out, but we just need to do a couple of fillers there. Five star baseball, I think, is a good, a good uh, contender for that. Otherwise, I think we might call it after that NT baseball. No, you know what? I feel like someone mentioned that a while ago. That someone had a Patrick Mahomes card collection on eBay, and they were all like one of ones, maybe rookie one of ones. Was that what it was? And it's going for seven and a half million dollars. Which actually, it's kind of crazy to say. They're all one of one. Okay, yeah, I did, I did hear about that. Which actually might be low. That price point, as crazy as that might sound. You're telling me Mahomes' values aren't going to go up in value? 
long as he stays healthy. As long as he stays healthy. And if some of those cards grade out nicely. Nice Jalen Hurts. Disco for the Eagles. Jason. Jason Siebert with that. There's a Tom Brady brilliance insert. I guess maybe they're not case hits, but there you go. Wyatt with the Buccaneers. And Chase Claypool playing some good football. The boss, Brian Bosworth, 2 out of 15. Nice low number. Quiet Edward D. Lair. For the Chiefs, emergent insert, disco refractor. And folks, our, our shipping team, I looked in the back, our shipping team has a... Uh, has a big list of all the top rookies that get sleeved and top loaded and all that. So we are prepared for Prism tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. We got a nice little warm up with the no huddle. We are prepared for Prism. So that way we can move through the breaks a little bit more quickly and our sorting and chipping team will, will catch whatever we miss on the back end. There's Jalen Johnson, 25, and Colin Johnson back there too. And is that the autograph coming up? Ooh, nice Justin Jefferson autograph. Rookie auto for Minnesota. Mark Bissett with the Vikings. I mean, fans in Minnesota are, are like, are like, Stephon Diggs who? Thanks to this guy. This guy's emerged really nicely. Minnesota could be a sneaky... Sneaky good playoff team? There's Chris Carson, 79, and a Justin Herbert, base rookie. That's for Sean Maddock and the Chargers. I'm sure these go for a lot too. If the Jalen Hurts goes for 60, what does that Herbert go for? Is that an automatic hundo? Oh, right, I know, I know. You got the Kirk Cousins is out there, but I don't know. I'm a bigger fan of Kirk Cousins than a lot of people are. I was like, I think Kirk Cousins is fine. And Tua Tungavailoa. 200 for the Herbie? Wow. Even better. What about Tua, Tony? Base Tua right here for Miami. Going to, uh, I think that was uh, Ryan, right? Yeah, Ryan H. Ryan Harold. There you go. Is the impeccable on the website still available? It says 12 teams left. Yeah, it's, that's what it says, 12 teams left. There's Anthony Barr, the two of about 150, that's not bad. But your friend said you had no impeccable. Don't listen to your friend, just go to the website, Max. Just go to the website, jaspiescasebreaks.com. That's the truth, not your friend. Unless Does your friend work for Jaspies? Probably not. No, you, you check the site yourself. You fact check your friend. <laughs> CD Lamb. And, and be like, hey, buddy. Don't lead me astray again. There's Thaddeus Moss to 79. He called the store. Oh, the store. If you call the store, <laughs> that's, that's, I mean, I'm, I think that was for like personal boxes. I'll bet whoever answered that phone call was probably thinking that the person was looking for personal boxes of Impeccable. So I don't think we have that. Which is why that person said no. Group break wise, yes, we do have a case of Impeccable for group breaks. Ray, what's the difference between Prism No Huddle and regular Prism? Um... An exclusive parallel. Basically, these like bubble or disco refractors right here, they don't exist in hobby. So this is an exclusive insert for this. 
I think no huddle is also a little bit smaller. Like there's fewer packs and fewer cards, I think, in no huddle. So I think you get more cards in hobby and maybe an extra autograph in hobby. And I think the autograph list is a little bit better in hobby. But on the flip side for this, I think you get um, you get better parallels with the autographs, even though the top names might be fewer and far between. Correct. We are unable to huddle between boxes. That's correct. That's the other thing. So sometimes I call two or three plays beforehand just so we know what to run. Unless I, I mean, I could call audibles at the line, Ryan Harold. I could be like, Alert! Alert! Raiders! Raiders! Alert! I can call audibles at the line. Disco! Disco! 180 hut? So I can call audibles though. Yeah, if I was a quarterback, I'd be big on audibles. i come up with all sorts of stuff. Alert! Mando! Mando! <laughs> Probably a lot of Star Wars references in my audibles. Oh, look at this Jalen Hurts. It's uh, black and white right here. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would do a lot of Omaha's. Omaha! Jalen Hurts, nice, different black and white parallel there for Jason Siebert. There's that Jordan Love we were talking about as well. Wait, who was asking? Someone was asking when Jalen Hurts is going to, I mean, I don't know. That offensive line is not doing Carson Wentz a lot of favors. He's getting sacked a lot. So do you want to roll out that young quarterback out there and have him get pounded? There's Tannehill to 79. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if. I don't know if you would do that. You know, at least at least Wentz is like big enough to like maybe absorb some of those, some of those hits. There's Warren Moon to fifty. No, and I don't think Carson's the problem either. I th I think, I think a lot of drop passes from Eagles receivers. There's Warren Moon. And yeah, I, I think once once Frank Reich, maybe Frank Reich was the, the genius behind the Eagles because once Frank Reich went to the Colts, right? There were some issues there in the play calling afterwards. That offense, there's a lot of injuries too. That offensive line is really beat up. But yeah, I mean, I, mean, I don't know if their drafts have been too solid. So it's it's a little bit of everything. There's Debo for the Niners, but the injuries certainly don't help. There's Jerry Judy. Jerry Judy for Denver. That'll be for Kurt. Yeah, Ray saying our drafts have been been trash. Thanks, Walter. There's Preston Williams out of 50. I mean, there have been Ravens cards, but no, like, Marquise Brown. I think it's all Lamar Jackson back there, but no, like, parallels or anything like that yet. That's for uh, Ryan Harold in Miami. Matt, what's going on? Yeah, I, I like Carson Wentz a lot. I, I, don't, think it's, I don't think it's on him either. I, it's a little bit of everything. There's Mike Kosicki to send me, like I said before. But yeah, some poor draft hasn't hasn't really helped. I think like any other quarterback, he needs a he needs a bit of a pocket, I think, to operate. You know, and you see a lot of I was watching that, that, that game the other day 
And there's a lot of he's not stepping into throws the Seah the Seahawks Eagles games he's not stepping into the throws, but that's because the pocket's collapsing around and he doesn't even you know and so so then it's a, then it's just then it all falls apart from there. He gets gun shy or he puts too much air under the ball. I think the guys on Monday night were talking about it a lot, and then it's all these little things you know then then you know he's not aggressive enough and then there's turnovers and. And so there's there's some issues there. There's Jonu Smith for the Titans. But yeah, and there's that's coaching coaching too. Sometimes you have to coach around a bad offensive line. You have to adjust. And they're maybe maybe they're just making him. Oh, Ray saying coaching's letting him out of the pocket. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of issues there. I feel like they're not running Miles Sanders enough. I feel like they're not running the ball enough. Let's maybe set up the run a little bit more. I mean, last year, last year Miles Sanders and, and Boston Scott had some pretty excellent games, and that sets the tone for the entire offense because the Philly defense is actually pretty decent. Their 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 offense is really letting them letting that defense down. I mean, the, the Philly defense put in a valiant effort against Russell Wilson and, and Seattle. And if they just, they were just, they just looked gassed by the end of the game because the offense couldn't stay on the field long enough or long enough and often enough to give the Philly defense a bit of a breather. Ryan Harold saying maybe throwing motion after his injury, you know, maybe he changed his throwing motion after that injury. All the guys here, most of the guys here are Eagles fans. Jason Jaspi, Nick Jaspi, his dad, the boss man, all big Eagles fans, so. A lot of long faces around the shop. <laughs> I'm a Raiders guy. Teddy is a Dolphins guy, and Sean Jaspi is a, uh, a Charter, that, uh, one, the, the one Chargers fan. In, uh, yeah, the boss man is. I think he spent some time his his younger years in Philadelphia. They all they moved around a lot, but but I think the the Philadelphia is the football team that they held on to. Then they spent some time in New York before settling back down here on the West Coast. He spent some time here on the West Coast too. But yeah, when they won the Super Bowl, Nick and his dad uh, went to the parade. They flew. They took a red eye, and then flew out for the parade. And then they spent the day there, and then they took another red eye back. <laughs> they only took like a day off to get get to the parade. That was awesome. There's Mark Andrews, thirty five. Minka Fitzpatrick, another Justin Jefferson. And we got Hop right here. Can't believe the Texans let him go. 27 out of 50. Although I think there's Colin Johnson for the Jags. That's for Eric J. who won that. I don't think that the Texans are too far out. I know they're not having a good season this year, but I think finally getting out from under Bill O'Brien, if they have a decent off season, right? I, I mean, you saw. I mean, I know it was against the Lions, but you saw what Deshaun Watson could do. Maybe P.E.D. Will Fuller, but I, I feel like 
a good off season, a decent draft, I don't think they're too far off from uh, from challenge from from winning the AFC South, really. They may just they may they may have to just undo a bit of what Bill O'Brien did. And I think they could I think they can be be pretty dangerous. I like Deshaun Watson a lot. So I'm I'm rooting for him. Him playing well would be uh would be hashtag good for the hobby. There's Josiah Degura to fifty. All right, and the final box. We have any? Uh, I know we'll have plenty of time to talk football tomorrow, but do we have any fun uh, NFL games this weekend? I know my Raiders better not better not lose to the Jets. I feel like that. Their second road game in a row. They lost to the Jets around this time last year, and that unraveled the season. They can't lose to the Jets, right? I don't know if they're covering that minus eight and a half, but I definitely I think they can't lose. Please, God. <laughs> that would be so sad. Falcons, they just didn't get off the plane. My Raiders, they just didn't get off the plane. Yeah, just like last year, Ryan. I don't want that. Uh... So, I don't know. I mean, you got to think Gruden's like... Especially with the with, with the way the Raiders have been ahead of schedule this year, they've looked pretty good. So you know Gruden's pissed. You know you know he's like, come on, we can't fall flat like this against the GD Jets. But what else? Uh, I guess Saints Falcons Sunday morning early game could be decent. I don't know, Lions, Bears, uh, although new coach mojo, I think each team that has had a new coach, they've won their next game. Browns, Titans could be okay. If Joe Burrow was around, that Bengals-Dolphins game would be really awesome. Jags, Vikings, uh, Raiders, Jet, I'm a Raiders guy, so I'm interested in that. AFC South matchup, Colts, Texans. Tony's a Rams guy, Rams, Cardinals. Yeah, I think I think the Rams will make the playoffs, but I think they should make the playoffs pretty comfortably. Uh, but it's it's like which Jared Goff are you gonna get? I think that's the issue. If you find a little more consistency out of Goff, I think that's a Super Bowl thing. Giants, Seahawks, man, Eagles, Packers, man, Eagles, Pack. Speaking of the Eagles, like that Eagles Packers game, I could see the Eagles winning that outright. Just, just to frustrate people. <laughs> just to piss off Eagles fans. You know, like the, the Packers will kind of fall flat for whatever reason. They fall asleep against the Eagles, and somehow the Eagles suddenly look amazing. And they're like, everyone will be like, where the hell was this team? That's I feel like that's what the Eagles do. Patriots, Chargers. Yeah, the line is even. Where are you getting Chargers plus one? I think, I think it's Patriots all the way, right? Anthony Lynn is terrible. Did you see him? He was down a touchdown in the fourth quarter of the last game, and he ran out the he ran out the field goal unit with less than thirty seconds to play. I was half watching that the end of that game, and I saw the kicker run off the field. When I turned my head to the TV, and I was like, "What? What? What happened there? Did I miss like something? Did I miss something? I thought it was maybe the." The point after, but it wasn't because the score hadn't changed. And then the, even the announcers were just like flabbergasted. They were just like, why was Anthony Lynn running? Terrible. So I'm taking, I'm taking the better coach in this matchup. Chargers are kind of bad at home anyway. So I'm taking the, I'm taking the Patriots. I'm taking the better coach. I, actually, I would just pass on that game, to be honest with you, if you're talking about wagering. Investing, I like to call it investing. Um, I would probably pass on that game, but if you're taking a side, I think I think it'd be the Patriots for me. 
I mean, be, even if you think they'll lose, I just I just can't in good conscience put invest any money into or Xavier Howard for Ryan into an Anthony Lynn coach team. Just can't. Broncos, Chiefs now. Washington Steelers could be. Yeah, and Ryan, you're right. That Bills Niners matchup looks pretty tasty. Niners have been playing well in spite of all of their all of their injuries. Let's see how the Bills do on the road. Kyle already has Falcons plus one thirty money line. Saints, that's a good investment. I'll bet I'll bet you could I'll bet you could maybe play that again if that goes a little bit higher. There's Adrian Peterson to 75, 79. Yeah, that Bills Niners game is is even. Which is interesting. I thought for sure it would be like Niners minus three. No, I have no plays yet. I'm going to wait until maybe... I might try to make some plays tonight. Some early plays. Maybe find some investments on Saturday, maybe. I might have some official plays on Saturday. After a handful of really bad weeks, I'm sorry. I had a decent last couple of weeks. Slowly trying to climb out of... Climb out of a deficit. <laughs> T. Higgins emergent, Henry Ruggs the third, black and white. I kind of like this design right here. Like sharp. Goes to my Raiders. E. A. with my Raiders. There's Kenny G. There's Alshon Jeffrey. Tomorrow will be great for 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 football discussion because the prison breaks are kind of long. So it'll be a good opportunity for us to talk out some games. So you can join us tomorrow for that. There you go, folks. That was No Huddle Picker Team 9. Five box break. More five box breaks in the store. So a lot of fun stuff. A lot of parallels right here to top load and all that. So a pretty great break. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye.